what you guys if you're looking to speed up your old laptop with an SSD and you want to do it without reinstalling Windows I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your laptop hard drive to an SSD without reinstalling Windows you're going to need one of these cables uh, this is a SATA 3 to USB cable and uh, you're going to need one of them and also you're going to need a little mini screwdriver like this this is pretty easy to pick up uh, just to remove the drive and also you're going to need of course your SSD drive now it doesn't really matter what brand this is this is just one I'd line around uh, but if yours is brand new doesn't really matter what brand it is it will bring new lease of life to your old laptop so let's get the cable out of the box and plug it into our SSD as you can see it just slots in here and then we can just plug the other end in to our USB port if you've got a USB 3.0 port on your laptop, then that's good. Now you should see a blue light and you should see it populate and find the drive on that laptop. And now we're ready to migrate our operating system over to our SSD. Now we will need a piece of free software. So let's go onto the laptop now and take a look. So we're going to open up here and we'll have a look at our drive. Now you should see the drives that are recognized here. So we've got our backup drive, which is our SSD. Because it's a, a second-hand drive, uh, we just need to uh, wipe this drive. And I will do that a little bit later on. And we can see we have a C drive and drivers. That's the actual hard drive that's inside here. So what we're going to do, you can just copy the operating system across or you can copy the whole whole drive. It's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to do here is go to the internet and uh, open up a browser and go to partitionwizard.com and we're after the mini tool partition wizard free edition version 10. You can download this for free. So once that's open, uh, we're just going to accept the agreement and then go next. And uh, install it. And then we're pretty much good to go here. We should be able to migrate our operating system across. So just let that install. And uh, once we've got this installed, as I said, what we're going to do is prepare our sol solid state drive. Uh, now, because mine's uh, already been used, I need to just uh, delete all the partitions. But if you've got a new one, you should be okay. So click on the partition wizard, open it up. And then once we get this open, you'll see an area up the top that says Migrate OS to SSD. Now, we're going to be doing that a little bit later on. I'm just going to delete the uh, partition table for the SSD which you can see here called backup. So I'm just going to remove this. So I'm going to just click on these and delete the partition. And then click other and then delete that partition also. Okay, we're good to go there. Just apply that and this will then wipe the drive. And as you can see, it's just unallocated space. So we'll just let that update. And then once we've got this done, what we can do is then start to migrate our operating system over to our SSD. Now you can see here, migrate OS to SSD. Click on this and choose your option. I'm gonna go with option A here, uh, but if you wanna choose option B, you can do. Depends on what uh, type of uh, option you wanna go for there. Now also it's going to select automatically the drive that's plugged in. You can see unallocated uh, space there for disk 2 and that's the drive where we're going to send all our information to. So just leave that as it is and then click on next. Now you've got a couple of copying options here which you can do fit partitions to entire disk or option 2 which is copy partitions without the resize. So the choice is entirely up to you. I'm going to go with the first option here for this tutorial and then we're going to click on next. So 
So you can see it gives you a little note about the BIOS. And uh, once we've got that done, what we need to do is click on apply. Now, once we click on apply, it's going to ask me to close all the programs down. So I'll have to uh, record the screen via a camera, uh, which is that you don't get a nice looking screen that you're seeing now. But um, that's OK. So I'm going to click, click, click yes here to close all the programs and I'll just record the screen from here from now on. So we're just going to click yes here. And this will then start to copy all the partitions and then copy them over to our SSD. Now I won't bore you with this process because it does take a fair bit of time. So I shall speed this process up. And you can see here it's come up with a bit of an issue. Cannot be uh, completed because the drive is being used. So we'll give it one more try. And you can click on retry and you can see we have the web browser open and stuff like that so you want to make sure that we close all these programs off uh, when you're doing that because it won't work properly and if I retry here it will come up with the same error but that's okay what we're going to do is restart and let it do its job on the restart and you'll see what happens here so it'll be a slightly different screen so now we have this screen as you can see here And that will just copy all the partitions across. And then we can see now that's been completed. All we need to do is remove the power from the laptop, flip it over, and remove the battery. Now we just need to remove this little inspection cover here uh, for the hard drive. Now yours may be in a different location. But you just need your little mini screwdriver here and just remove this. Now I'm doing this with left handed and I'm actually right handed. So just remove these. And then we should have access to the actual R drive itself. And there we go. So we're just going to remove this little panel. And then we can see the drive here. Now what we need to do here now is remove the drive and remove this little caddy that it's uh, sitting in. So just slide it back and this will allow us to get the drive out. And you can see this little cage. We need to remove this little uh, cage to put it around our SSD. So we need our screwdriver again and just remove the screws on the side here. So I'll speed this process up here, just remove all four screws. And now we have our hard drive we're going to remove. You can use this in another device if you wish, like some sort of a caddy, use it as an external drive. Now we need to pull out our SSD and put that into our little cage. I'm just going to swap this over now, exactly how it come out, like so and then just put the screws in. So just, re just re reverse the process. Pretty straightforward. And then what we're going to do here is offer up our new SSD into the uh, laptop here. Slide it in backwards on this, on this version and then slide forward. I'm going to probably need two hands here. So I'm just going to quickly put my other hand in to hold the laptop and then slide it in. There we go. So we're in. And now all we need to do is put on our back plate to cover that up. Now there is a couple of screws that you can put in there. I've removed these. I don't want to put those in. And now just to screw this back up like so. And once we've got those screws back up, we can power on our laptop. Just put the battery back in and then put a bit of power to it and then turn it on and let's see if she fires up and there you go back to the desktop completely cloned across and that's basically how you can upgrade your laptop hard drive to an SSD hard drive without reinstalling Windows so I hope this one's been useful to you guys thanks again for watching and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now